Hello everyone, we are back with Architects of Tomorrow, up against Reyna, our new Core 2.0 Anarch identity. Uh, Anarch, still good. We're going to keep this hand. We can't get the IPO out immediately, which is a bit awkward. We do have Quicksand though, which is a hard stop, and we do have Architect. So both of these are good. Quicksand will get more powerful uh, the more the runner runs into it. So I'm okay with an early res for four uh, to kind of force that. Also might be good to get the Marlin down early just to tax them. So Anarch typically wants to go R&D early, so we're going to do that and that, and we'll take a credit. Possibly should have put down Marlin, but it's okay. Uh, next time we can put it down with something. Rose Jarvis might be a bit of a waste. Uh, build script, not what, I, not what I was expecting. So we'll see where this deck is going. Oh, we already know where it's going. So if you watched my last video, you saw a combo in action. This is an alternative version of the combo, I believe. So yeah, combo wombos all around. And maybe not much we can do about it, except to go really quickly. Um, put that in there, take a credit. Not ideal, but we'll see probably going to leave us have this and probably not going to go as near us for a while so if you didn't see the video uh, the goal of this deck is to money up really really quickly draw massively through your deck and then just inflict a ton of damage to yourself so we need to go really quickly and unfortunately our deck is not giving us the agendas to do so We could even run ice, Iceless, which is why Reyna is kind of a terrible idea. This will be Hades Shard. So my last opponent used Eddie Kim, which makes more sense. Uh, if you're not forcing Ice Reses, Reyna is a terrible idea. Mm, let's draw. That's good. Let's install that and let's IPO. Uh, Vitruvius with counter could be very, very useful. So that's what we're going to try and do. We'll get Architect and that going. EMP device. Right. So that's one way of making sure that we don't uh, get to do anything. Um, okay. Let's install this on server one. Let's install this into a... I would like to have it on server one or something as well. Um, actually... This is really mean. So let's put that into server three and we're going to start trying to click up ourselves and get some things going. Next time we'll put Vitruvius down, click this once and IPO. But we need to go super fast. So we'll res her and draw away. Friends doesn't do much for us, unfortunately. Install advance, hit this once. Seems useful. So now we need to give, need to give them fewer turns as well, or fewer clicks, because they're very dependent on comboing, finding things as fast as possible. Uh, Fisk is okay, I'm fine with that. Advance. Score that, and the counter could be really important. Get rid of this, and we'll get rid of an ash. I don't think that's going to be important. Ice probably irrelevant as well. Thank you. So, very much trying to mill us. And they'll be ready to go soon, unfortunately. So we could just biotic this out, which actually seems like a plan. Alternatively, we stick it in here, uh, click this once, take money. Also seems good. Uh, yeah. 
we get rid of Adonis and Marilyn. Fall comes all, we can friends them back. But they'll be ready to go soon, unfortunately. Uh, so let's score this out, maybe. Keep the biotic. So we need a global food now. And money. So then we biotic. We need three biotics, don't we? So there's the food. And we have all the biotics. So next turn we can win, right? Biotic gives us four clicks. Biotic gives us five clicks. Take it back. Biotic gives us six clicks. Uh, the black file comes down. So never mind. They will get to do our combo and there's not much we can do. Um, we can get to seven. But then we kind of just sit there. But then server one. Uh, force them to lose a click. And we can friend something, but it doesn't do much for us. The runner won't be trashing things, because it's the corp that will be. So, kind of in trouble now. For that, get rid of friends. So we can click trash to gain four. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think there's much we can do here. So if we click trash, we gain four. We can biotic, score this out, and then we have two turns. But yeah, I don't I don't see it happening. So we have six clicks, we can advance this up. Score it and score an IPO or play IPO to gain loads of money. So now we have Vitruvius, but we have to keep 23 cards out of the bin or seven points of agendas. Six points in hand, which isn't bad. So there's the Fear of the Masses. Uh, we're only going to res one piece of ice anyway. And here's where the combo comes alive. So you're seeing a different version of it today if you missed yesterday's video. If you missed yesterday's video, please go back. <laughs> so we got plus five copies of Fear the Masses. And we only have five agendas, six agendas that we know about. Haiti Shard is on the table. Only two agendas so far. I still don't have to worry. Amped up, however. <laughs> Means we get to do it all over again. So we're still fine. We can afford to lose two agendas. Three agendas. So we're actually fine, aren't we? One, two, three. Will Vitruvius at what point? Oh no, actually we're not, because this doesn't go back to H or back to R and D. So yeah. Uh, we'll take this back anyway. Sure, why not? Uh, 
And Corp cannot win anything we can do. The Maryland campaign is trashed. So we are okay, I think. We will install this to server four, shuffle it back in, and we might as well buy out a good out. This will tick up, which means we win, so we're good. Whew. Oh, that was tough going. So, yeah, these combo wombo decks are alive and well. Maryland campaign MVP, because it gets shuffled back into R&D. Tough going. Tough, tough going. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, bit of a weird one. And thank you for watching. Hopefully we'll get past the scourge of Anarch Mill Combo decks at some point. Uh, but no promises. 